Hi, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, Watercolor Artisan. And today I'm going to be showing you a extremely simple way uh, that I can introduce you to negative painting. Negative painting is when we paint the space around an object and the object appears. The simplest way that I can show you this is by working with circles because they have a smooth, uncomplicated edge. For this, I usually use a cup, a little plastic cup, because it has two circles, different sizes, the bottom and the top. And I've already started drawing in a few different circles. All you need to do is put your cup down, whether you use the large size side, the small side, it doesn't matter. All I want you to do is lay down some circles, but they cannot overlap, not at this stage. And we're going to take our paint, any color you want. This is a simple exercise just to get your brushes wet and to open up your mind to this whole concept of negative painting. Most important at this stage is the value of your paint, not the color, but the value, the, the lightness or the darkness of your paint is extremely important. We need to use a lot of water and we need to paint in a very light value. And now we're gonna paint completely around these circles. This is not about painting perfect circles. It's about painting around the circles. So I'm just gonna fill in this paper with color, but I'm not gonna paint the circles. You could do this with squares, you could do this with hearts, you could do this with seashells, whatever shape you want. But I always say in the beginning, please use the simplest shape because you're gonna see as we pr progress in future videos how complicated it can get. So again, I'm using a lot of water and I'm painting around the object, no matter what the object is. I love this technique because it frees me up to play with colors and really just to get my brushes wet and get me painting. And that's what I love about this. It's so simple, I'm not making a huge commitment to a painting, I'm just practicing and having fun. The other nice thing is at any point I can add color to this and change up the color a little bit. So if, if I want to throw in, just to make it more interesting, a little bit of this blue color, well, go right ahead. This is just a, a background wash. And what will happen is when we get to the next layer, because negative painting is we're constantly painting layers. When we get to the next layer, you're going to see those circles are created and they won't be white. They will now be the color that we've painted this background. So as we move through and paint each layer, each color that we paint the layer becomes our next color of the circles. So now I need to take a moment and let this dry and I'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. Uh, my paper is dry and now I'm going to start the next layer of my negative painting. Back to my cup, my pencil. Now I want to paint the next images so they look like they're sitting behind these nice clean white circles. So I'm going to overlap and I'm going to place my cup so it's slightly over another circle. But when I place my draw my lines around it, I am not going to draw in any of the white areas. I'm just going to draw in the area where my background washes. So I'm going to place a couple of these here. And I'm just drawing around the cup, but not into any previously white areas. Okay, now it's exactly the same as what we did before. Again, I'm using a nice big number 16 brush, uh, round brush. I can stay with the same colors if I choose. I don't really have to make the value much darker because now I'm not working on white paper. So it is gonna appear darker anyway, but I'll add just a tiny bit. I'm making a nice big puddle because I need to work fast and cover all this area. 
So I'm gonna start painting around my original first item, which are the circles, and around the second layer of circles I've created. So here goes. And around. This is so relaxing. One of the things I love about negative painting, it just relaxes me. Okay, look how the second circle is starting to appear. Isn't that cool? I'm painting everything but the original white circles and the second circles around each object. Now, as I go along painting, I can correct a few edges if I don't feel that something is perfect. Like if I really want an absolutely perfect circle, I can always go in now and start to slightly correct that because I'm going with a darker color. Turn this around. Nice and wet. By painting wet, I'm gonna keep a really light value around the circles. So far, I know you can do this. And this is the really perfect way for you to get started thinking in the negative. Paint off. If you make a mistake, don't worry. This is your practice piece. We all need to start practicing and starting somewhere. Okay, simple, done. Painted completely around the next layer. Okay, again, the paper has to dry. I cannot add another layer and go deeper into this painting if the paper is still wet. So it's extremely important for me to take a moment now and dry my paper. Be right back. Welcome back. My paper is dry. I have already penciled in some of the next circles. Again, I'm not penciling over any of the previously painted or unpainted circles. I'm gonna paint around them. So I'm putting down my cup and I'm just going to outline the areas that are going to show behind these circles. And now I'm gonna start painting. Hey, welcome back. I've already placed three circles, one here, one here, and one here. And you can see there's not gonna be a lot of painting to be done on this. There's really not a lot of room left in here. But I'm gonna continue with a darker value. This is gonna be my final layer. And I'm gonna paint around the circle. And you could see how deep it starts to feel. 
these really are now floating on top. 